What's up everybody, Frank Valkyrie, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna do a reaction to an artist I have absolutely no clue. If you're new to my channel, you know the cheap Wolverine here, apart from making his own merch, celebrating 200k, links below if you want to, obviously, but also happens to be a singer, an artist, and we talk about whatever. In this case, music. In this case, about Hako Yamasaki. In this case, wondering. You're wondering. I'm also wondering what the heck's going on with this artist that I've never heard before. Anyway, guys, joking aside, imaginary battler, mind your business, okay? I'm doing my thing here. Yes, I'm in character. Mind your business twice then, okay? Once for me and once for the character. Anyway, let's go, guys. By the way, coffee. What a beautiful mood, this jazzy piano coming in with their voice just howling from a mixed voice down. Can you do that? I mean, just as appreciation, of course. I don't know what she said, but it's no manika. I'm buying it. I believe you. Oh, there's this lovely flair of uh, blues rock also in the way she sings and uh, I don't know there is something a little bit that reminds me of um, older for folk singer from the US you know even a little bit of Janis Joplin actually well most likely this was influenced by such artists but <laughs> Wow. Man, this song just makes me want to be in uh, Aruki Murakami's novel taking place in the early 80s, somewhere in a Japanese bar where I'm overlooking the city of Tokyo far away, a little higher up. And I just have a double scotch with ice, even though I don't drink double scotch. I'm just saying, you know, makes you want to do that. And I see the reflection of the neon lights, the color lights in my eyes and behind my shoulder, this lovely voice just howling creating the mood and the vibe and I get lost in my own intoxication trying to grasp the meaning of my existence in that very moment trying to focus all my energy in being alive being aware of being alive with the eye in the present not the future not the past and getting drunk by the way I don't drink 
I think for the last 17 years or so. Actually, 20 years. Well, we can uh, agree that there is such a beautiful improvisational type of flair. Also, I guess this is a live performance or is recorded live. It sounds very much like so. So even if it's a studio version, I think she might have just sang the whole thing. I think so. At the time in the 70s was less common, I think, than just to sing pieces of the song, even though it could also be possible that she did in that way. What a beautiful, powerful voice also, eh? a lot of really lovely tone, so rich and the way she goes, you know, belting in this part, uh, truly mesmerizing how many incredible talented artists they, 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 they exist. I don't know if this woman, Hako, she's still around, I suppose she's a little bit older nowadays. Let's see, Hako Yamasaki, let's see. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, she's actually she's six, 63, pretty young still. Come on, you gotta agree, this part is just freaking beautiful. I love it. Oh yes, baby. Wow. Beautiful. Yes! Wow, I'm really enjoying this so much! sad <laughs> oh man music is bad but it's also good uh, it just immediately brings you back you know like in your 20s i don't know 
I, I've been in, especially my 20s, when I was traveling on cargo ships, I've been so many times in some kind of shady bar somewhere <laughs> drinking on my own or with the rest of the crew. So it brings back those type of memories. It's nice to... Those things are nice to tell a story. But honestly, uh, it's also pretty wonderful to be sober and, and just to take care more of yourself. When you're younger, of course, we indulge. We indulge a little bit more. And uh, yeah, you can handle it. Now, 44, well, I've been, like I said, I've been sober for 20 years, basically. I stopped drinking at 24. So uh, that doesn't mean I never drank after that, you know. Like, but it's not my thing. I might drink a beer a year or two beers in one year or something. So like that. Anyway, guys, I think this is a really wonderful discovery we did today. If we didn't know this artist, I'm really happy if you're watching this with me. We discover it's also i hope also my indonesian audience my brazilian audience which it's the, you know the biggest audience i have on my channel can also appreciate that we go search for new things and bring new things to the table here otherwise we only stick to the same things and it, it becomes limiting even though there are many many artists in one country but it becomes also limiting i think so i think it's also very nice if we manage to space and you also I managed to tickle your curiosity and that's the only thing I want to tickle. Okay? Okay? Go check TikTok. I want to see you there. Ciao. Smell Wow.